Okay. With 3D Love, you can create a 3D solid or surface. Okay. But for create a 3D solid or surface, you will need at least two cross sections. Okay. These two cross sections can be uh, closed entities or closed uh, object. You can you can do this operation with open objects or open entities like uh, you know like a arc, like a single line or like a sp line. So when you are performing 3D love with open objects, you will get a surface. Okay. What more 3D love offers in GSRCAD 2012? So you can do you can do uh, you can ha you you will have many options for doing 3D love. One of these options are cross section. So you can do love operation by cross section, and then you will get the follow uh, 3D solid effects. See, as you see, you have roulette, smooth, normal two, and draft angle. Those are totally different 3D solid effects. So what more 3D love? offers what more option offers so you can have you can do a 3d love by guide okay you can have a guide so you can have several cross section and the guide the guide in this case is a sing can be a single line or an arc okay and then you can do 3d love by path okay you have another option with what we call path in this path you can also have a several cross section here and Lofting by path is characterized by uh, by having and uh, a polyline here, a polyline as a center line, as you can see. So this is path is a polyline and the guide is a single. There is two single lines. Okay. So let's see a demo how it works. Sections. So in cross sections, okay, we will do we will perform 3D love with three options: cross section, guide, and path. Okay. So for do this operation, you have two ways, okay, two ways to do this. Here in the ribbon, okay, you will have a, a 3D tab. In 3D tab, you will have on the panel model modeling. So you can have here loft, okay. And there is another way, another command typing. You can type the command loft, and that's it, okay. Appear one message say select uh, cross sections in lofting order. So I want select in this order, okay. Okay, and then input options. I want uh, as you as you know, we are we are talking about cross section. So I will select the keyword C. That means cross, and then I will say enter, and it will display a window. In this window, you will have uh, several options. You have roulette, smooth, normal two, draft angle. So in this case, I will select op I will select the option roulette. Okay, but you cannot see the difference here. So we go to two D wire frame, and then we change. Okay, now you can see clearly it's a 3D solid generated by cross section. So I will repeat, I will repeat the lofting, but with other options here. Say so, okay, okay, okay. So I will select a smooth, okay, and you will see this is roulette and this is a smooth. You see it's totally different between these two, and then I will perform another uh, cross section options, okay. As you can see here, I will I will select normal two. In normal two, you will have you will have uh, four. You will have a four um, four options. For example, I will select a star and end cross section. It's according to your need. What do you need? Okay. And you can see it's totally different here. In the base of this cross section is in angle, and then comes up, go up smoothly. So are totally different these two. Okay. So. Let's see the last option on cross section. Okay, again, I will select the cross section. I will select the cross section here. I put the option cross, and I will select draft angle. In draft angle, I can play with the star angle, for example, 24, with a magnitude, for example, 180, and the end angle of the cross section must be 120, and the end magnitude, and magnitude for example, in 15. Okay, and then you will see. What is the effect? Ah, as you can see, huh? As you can see here, totally different. So, in cross section, doing 3D love in cross section, you have uh, several options. So, the next one is doing 3D love by guy. So, as I told you, guy and path, they are different. The cross, I mean, the 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 line or the guide, 
you see, are a single line, but in path is a polyline. Okay, it's a polyline. So let's perform guide option. Okay, in guide option, we type loft, we will select the cross sections, are these ones, okay, and then I will select the option guide, that means G. Okay, and then I select the lines, right? Select these lines and this line, my center lines, and then that's it. You see, easily, faster, flexible, okay? And then I will perform path. So I will do love here. I will select uh, my cross section around here, okay? Carefully, you not select the center line. Okay, I select this, and then I will put the option P, that's mean path, and then I will select the center line here, and that's it. Okay, totally different, three different lofting options with, with different solid effects because is those are solid because those are uh, closed entities. But what about a surface? So you can apply 3D loft on surface easily. So as you can see, surface only works on the open entities or open cross sections. So I will perform a surface here. Okay loft and I will select uh, this section and this section okay and input the option for example cross cross section and then I will select rule it okay and you get it this is a surface okay as you can see and this is a solid so as well I will apply another sample here with another loft option okay I will select the okay here and then when input the options I will input the option guide Put the, and then I will select this line, this is my guide, and again I will have my surface. As you see, 3D Love is a very uh, it's a very powerful command, okay? Uh, it's new in GSRCA 2012 and you can it's, it's, it's easy to operate, offers many options, and it's flexible. It's not like uh, this command, extrude. Extrude is for push and pull to the planner uh, entities, okay? But those are flexible. Check the flexibility of 3D Love and what imagine what you can do with this command. Okay.